how can you get into research roles and what is the salary that you can expect in research roles what are the prospects of you doing a masters or a phd after your research work so i am going to tell you about an opportunity and how you can plan your preparation for that opportunity that to buy a company like microsoft with a special program known as microsoft research fellow so this is a program that we'll be talking about in this video we'll talk about the entire details from the starting of application to your preparation phase to your interviews what all will be asked how can you prepare for them and what all perks and benefits are associated with this who all are generally selected and how can you be one of those who are selected for this program so we'll talk about this particular program in detail in this video if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel let's keep the like aim of this video as 1500 likes and we'll come up with more such amazing videos more such amazing content for all of you so as you can see on the screen microsoft research fellow it's a two years program matlab it's one plus one year program one year you work uh, at microsoft research you learn things and one year more can be extended for this program it's basically a two years program that is there at microsoft it's not a permanent job opportunity at microsoft but yes you can say it's a pre-build for your masters or phd like if you are very interested in research you want to get into masters you want to get into a phd so before your masters and phd this can be a very good addition to your masters and phd theory thesis right so this is something that you can try on so we'll talk about what all things are there so what exactly do you do you may do industrial research or you may do academic research in this particular uh, program so industrial research when i say you might be working with some of the product teams in microsoft you might be working in with some of the research teams in microsoft some of you might be working upon an existing product some of you might be working upon a new product new product i would say new product key research from the very starting so this is an overall context of what you will be doing when you when i say research there are multiple different topics that uh, come into picture right it can be machine learning it can be systems in general it can be operating systems it can be anything that microsoft is currently working upon and it aligns with your interest so that both of you are mutually beneficial to each other so this is the aim and idea behind this particular program chance to go for a phd with most of the students who uh, go through this program they they first of all they save a lot of money along with that they have some hands on experience they do some good research then they can go for their phd and they can excel every year around 50 students are selected with maybe if the applications are more they might select more so, but the hiring the competition the program is very very selective Salary that you get is salary is similar to what a Microsoft SD gets in India. So salary, this is not at all an issue. You get a very, very good uh, salary. Before we move ahead with this video, let me tell you about a special platform known as Next Level by an Academy through which you can build your expertise and skills. You can test them and you can have a great profile through which you can unlock job opportunities. And I am revealing this for the very first time on YouTube channel, Arsh Goel. So what is Next Level? Next Level helps you create your own professional profile for your career. You build it by competing and winning coding competitions with your friends. You can challenge your friends on this app and you can get a rating. The more you win, the more ratings you have. As soon as you have more ratings, you unlock more job opportunities for all of you. It's an interactive and fun gameplay to test your knowledge and skills. And they have collaborated with multiple different companies, be it service-based companies or be it education giant. And the best part is you can invite your friends to this challenge. They can also take part in it. I am also doing it for the very first time today. You can see that I am there on the waitlist. You can download this app for free on Play Store currently and you will be joining the waitlist and it will be soon available on iOS for iOS users as well. Giving the link in the description to download this app for the very first time, do refer your friend. This will help you move up in the waitlist for the same. Now application process is currently open and who all are eligible batch of 2023 pass outs are eligible. So for this, there will be two things in the application. First of all, you need to fill a form. Uh, I'll link in the description the form that you can that you need to fill in that form there are two major things one is SOP SOP stands for statement of purpose and second thing is LOR that is letter of recommendation when I say SOP so SOP is something that is very important that will tell the company that why you want to get into research what's the thesis that you want, are interested in and whether that thesis aligns with their core principles core computer science uh, things that they are working upon right so in that SOP you need to write your area of research you need to mention why you are interested which all projects you have done or something that can change the world how how it can change the world how it, it can create an impact all across uh, society across academia across industry so that is something that they're looking forward to in your SOP so make sure you frame it up in such a way that it looks good right 
so there can be different different topics it can be machine learning computer science fundamentals research emerging market systems multiple different things when i say systems there can be networking there can be os there can be any topic of research related to computer science is something that they're looking forward to and if you have some prior background of research then you are already a candidate with a plus point so definitely you should go ahead for this particular thing for this particular program good cgpa is also a very very a good plus point and if you have done some research paper if you have presented some paper or posted in a presentation in a in a in a conference then that your chances of getting selected are more as compared to anyone else right second thing is letter of recommendation from academia you need to get a letter of recommendation from your college faculty from anyone who with whom you have done some project one if you have not done some project you can get a lor from your assistant professor from your professor of college anyone whom you feel like could give you that letter of recommendation in which they should mention ki you have done some projects with them you have worked with them they should show that you are a hard working candidate so that is something that is expected out of that right now how to prepare for this particular competition so first thing is your fundamentals of software fundamentals of computer science should be very very strong secondly your basic area of interest that you mention in your sop you should have some background of that you should have some context of that and you should be able to uh, like uh, uh, convince the interviewer that you are very interested in this particular technology so this is basically what you should wear. we'll talk about the interview pattern also there are generally two rounds to three rounds so what is asked in those two three rounds it's basically an open ended uh, question that you'll get you might get somebody who is asking you data structural algorithms again here similar to what an sd interview at microsoft looks like if not data structural algorithms what else can be asked there can be general design problems how you design a particular system low level design of a system or in general design of a system based upon your preference in sop then some domain specific questions if you have good interest in core mathematics statistics then also you are a candidate that can be taken into consideration so now if you are new to this channel make sure you do like this video and subscribe to this channel because i keep coming up with more such amazing content ahead now what's the difference between this sd role and this rf research fellow role so you generally see that uh, sd role is given by microsoft idc india development center and research role is given by microsoft research so it's uh, not a full time role first of all you just need to be there for two years and after that you can go for your masters or maybe you can go into industry only in a research role secondly basically sd develops products it's more of a hardcore coding job whereas in the research role you might not be developing projects exactly but it's basically an independent research or a research with a group of friends uh, with a group of team so what exactly you will be doing you will be improving systems you will be uh, getting new problems to work upon and you may start your new research problem so basically it is more research oriented whereas in that software engineering role you need to develop products right so i give the link in the description for this particular so i give the link in the description for microsoft research fellow anyone who is graduating by summer 2023 you are eligible to apply make sure you do apply for this program it's a very great opportunity for anyone who is interested in research share it with your friends do let them know ki such an opportunity exists and let's make this accessible to each and every one of so that was it for this particular video i hope you people like this amazing video see you in some other video till then all the best good luck bye